Hello everyone, I'm Sergey with a daily brief overview of the latest news from Ukraine. Tonight, the city of Kiev and the Kiev region was attacked by Shahed drones. Let's take a look at a short video of Ukrainian air defense over the skies of Kiev. All of the drones were shot down, but some debris hit residential areas and some buildings. Unfortunately, even if the drones are successfully shot down, the debris fall to the ground anyway. The air raid lasted about three hours, and more than 30 drones were destroyed in the sky above of Kyiv region. Well, actually, in eight days of this month, Russia attacked the Ukrainian capital four times. As you know, I currently live in Kyiv. And you know, people have absolutely stopped reacting to the sound of alarms and air battles in the sky. People really get used to everything. Okay, let's move on to the front line. The current situation in Bakhmut still tense. Ukrainians continue to hold back the Russians, who continue to press on all sides. Russian forces have managed to make small territorial gains. They have also reached the residential area but this is not a, such a significant result. Another attempt was made near Khromove. But Russians suffered heavy losses and rolled back to their previous positions. Today's footage from the trenches near the village of Khromove. As we can see, Ukrainian troops continue to maintain an optimistic mood even in a, such a difficult situation. They are ready to meet the enemies, as many as there would be. It is unlikely that the Russian will be able to capture Bakhmut by the victory day of the 9th of May. In fact, Ukrainian troops are showing unbelievable result by holding such a small part of the city. But unfortunately, and anyway, there is a price to pay. And sometimes there are happy cases like this. The lucky guy who survived after being hit by the bullet in his phone. Well, on this day, he will definitely celebrate his second birthday. In the Zaporizhia direction, there are positional battles, but without any significant advances. The evacuation of temporarily occupied towns in the region continues. So far, this has happened voluntarily. Russian sources say that Ukrainian troops from time to time have an attempt to cross the Dnieper River near Kherson. But this is definitely fake information, because it is strange to make small attempts. In this video, we see Ukrainian troops being trained to overcome water barriers. Certainly to attack effectively, it needs a sufficient number of manpower. The Ukrainian side maintains strict secrecy about possible areas where the counteroffensive will take place. As I said earlier, it is possible that Ukraine could make a diversionary attack in the Kherson direction, but in a few days later will strike in another direction. Everyone is expecting a huge offensive, and we really believe in a successful outcome. But we also need to understand that we shouldn't overestimate expectations to avoid emotional disappointment, because it's difficult to say which result will be successful. Definitely it would be the end of the war, with the Ukrainian victory this year. Well, this is the ideal scenario that would be very difficult to achieve. There are some fears that if Ukraine fail in this counteroffensive, firstly, Ukraine will receive fewer weapons, and secondly, Ukraine probably have to sit down at the negotiation table with Russia. But of course, we all believe in the happy end and the final victory of Ukraine this year. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I will continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to not miss next updates. Have a great day. Bye-bye.